Yeah. So we're looking at a, an image of the three-dimensional structure of the Ebola virus glycoprotein. The San Diego serum is known as ZMAP. The animation shows how it works. The antibodies in red lock onto the Ebola and stop the virus from spreading. Scientists here in San Diego have been working on a cure for years, but turning science into a serum you can give to people is a much bigger challenge. The drug was developed in the most unlikely of places, this industrial estate in San Diego. MAP Biopharmaceutical, only nine employees and a camera-shy chief executive who would only tell me it could be months before they can produce this drug in large quantities. That's because they're growing the antibodies in genetically engineered tobacco plants and they're waiting to harvest the next batch. The drug works in the lab, cured monkeys, but untested in humans, is it safe? I would take it myself, and I've been studying this for 10 years, so I know exactly how it works, and I know what the risks are, I know what the benefits are. And you have to keep in mind, your alternative is Ebola virus, right? We're not talking about a, a diet drug going into otherwise healthy people, we're talking about a people infected with Ebola. One of the two American medics infected and treated in Liberia walked to his isolation ward after his condition improved, but disease control scientists aren't convinced. The plain fact is that we don't know whether that treatment is helpful, harmful or doesn't have any impact. And we're unlikely to know from the experience of two or a handful of patients whether it works. Labs around the world have joined a global effort to develop both a treatment and a vaccine for Ebola. But there are ethical questions about who should be given limited stocks of an untested drug. Should we choose the person who has the biggest family that depends on them? Should we choose the person who is the smartest? Should you choose the person in this particular case who has the most to contribute to trying to treat the Ebola uh, epidemic? And it's not an easy question. There is no good answer. Much of the research has been funded by a U.S. government wary of biological warfare and investments now being used to tackle an epidemic. Alistair Leithhead, BBC News, San Diego.